All right, so welcome back. Today's video is going to be on solving common logarithms. So what happens when our bases are not simply the same? So before we get started, we'd like to thank our corporate sponsors once again, Sticky Feet Reptiles, stickyfeetreptiles.com, and the Crafty Badger. So on the left side here, you can see what we did before, right? We have four to the X equals eight. If we have something like that, well, then I can just change the bases on both sides and then solve it. So if I have four to the X equals eight, just as a review, right, I can say four is a power of two, right? Four is two squared. So instead of saying four to the X, I can really change that to just two squared to the X. And then I can say, well, eight is also a power of two. That's two to the third. Well, power to a power I multiply, so that's two to the two X, equals two to the third. And then we know that if the bases are the same, we can get rid of them and just set the exponents equal to one another. If the bases are the same and the exponents must also be the same. And then just divide by two and I get X equals three over two. So that's not too bad, right? But what are the chances that our bases are always gonna be the same? Probably not that great. Right, so if we look at the other side here, I gave another problem that says, what happens if four to the X equals 19? On that side, you can't just write 19 as a power of four. You can't write 19 as a power of two. So what are we gonna do? Well, uh, we know that if both sides of an exponential equation cannot easily be written as powers of the same base, like that first example we did, it says you can solve by taking the logarithm of each side. So let's take a look at what that is. So if I change this over, so I have four to the X equals 19. It says you can just take the common log of both sides in order to solve this. So if I take the log of the left side, right, and you use the base of your logarithm matches the base of your exponential function, that way they're opposites. So if this has a base of four, I'm gonna use log base four of that four to the X. Whatever I do to one side, I gotta do to the other side, right? We know that log base four of four is just one, cancels out. So I have X equals log base four of 19, right? Whenever you take the log with the same base and argument, they will cross out. So now we have the dilemma of, well, how do I figure out what log base four of 19 is? We have two options really, right? On our calculator, I'm gonna turn my light on here. We have a log base button. So if you go to math, you scroll down, the second from the bottom in mine is a log base function, right? So if you can see that, we have log base. So if I hit log base, I can just type the base. The base is four. My argument is 19, and that gives me two point, I'm just gonna do two places, 2.12. Now, not all calculators have that log base, so what are we gonna do if our calculator doesn't have a log base? Well, there's a change of base formula, right? The change of base formula says, instead of typing this into the calculator, we can just use a log with base 10 to evaluate this. So the change of base formula says we take log of the argument divided by log of the base, and that will give us the same thing, right? So all of you should have a log button on the calculator, right, that normal log. So if I take log of 19 divided by log of four, that gives me that same 2.12 that the previous did. So whether you have the log base function or not, you can still solve this, right? So if it doesn't have the same base or you can't change them to the same base, just take log with that base of both sides and then solve. Now, one more example before we go. If we make it even a little more difficult, if we look at something like this, right? We have 11 to the B minus three, equals five to the B. So obviously these bases are not the same, right? And we can't make 11 a power of five or both of them a power of some other number. 
So we're going to take the log base 11 of both sides to get rid of it. So log base 11 of 11 is gone. That's just b minus 3 equals log base 11 of 5. And we know from our properties of logarithms that the exponents can be moved down front. So this is the same as b log base 11 of 5. Now in this problem I have two b's, so I need to get those b's together. That way I can factor it out and solve. So I'm going to subtract this b log base 11 of 5 over, and I'm going to add the 3. So I'm going to have b minus this b log 11 base 5, and now it's going to be equal to 3. On the left side, you can see that we have a b in common. So I'm going to factor a b out, which leaves me with 1, b divided by b is 1, minus log base 11 of 5 equal to 3. And then I can say, well, the opposite of multiplication is division, so I can divide this whole quantity. So b should be 3 divided by 1 minus log base 11 of 5. So once again, on the calculator, if we look at the calculator, let's clear it out here. I'm going to do three divided by, and then parentheses to group the entire denominator. So three divided by one minus, and I'm gonna do my log base. So log base of 11, five, close my parentheses, and we should get 9.12. So once again, the two places, B is equal to 9.12. Okay, so that's all we have for this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, if you have any ideas for upcoming videos, please let us know. Thank you for watching.